Hey you guys, it's Tanya. What's going on? So today's video is going to be a current um, hair video, of, like what's going on with my hair and what products I'm currently using. So before we get started, I kind of want to show you this t-shirt because I really love this. I got this made um, at a local place here called Dirty Tees and I love what they did. They took what I wanted and made a shirt out of it. So let me show you my shirt. Can you see that? It says, please don't touch my hair without asking. And this is actually a picture of my hair. Like this is a picture of me that she literally, you know, cropped. And then, so that's my face with my, look, with my, you can see that's my head. Well, you can't see, but that's my head. And this is my hair from a picture about six years ago. And I really love this cut. And so you can see I have that cut again. Um, so moving to the next topic, hair. I got my cut, my hair cut. Well, I got my hair cut July 15th and um, I wanted to achieve a certain look and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out because I look like a poodle or a mushroom. Like the top was short and kind of did like this. And then this hair was so much longer, it kind of just fell. It just looked crazy and I hated it. So I went to one of my other Yes, I have other. I went to one of my other stylists, Stephanie, um, because my person who's supposed to do my hair before my birthday, right before my birthday, she had a family emergency and she canceled. So I was just like, it's my birthday. <laughs> I need my hair done. And so I went to my girl, Stephanie, and she layered my hair and cut it. Like she cut off, we'll talk about this too. She cut off like four inches. And I already had four inches cut off in July. So she, so. In the back, I had about eight inches cut off, but in the top, because my top hair grows so much shorter, I probably only had an inch this time cut off the top, but I had like I said, four, three to four inches in the back and probably anywhere from four to one inches in the middle, but she got it where it was symmetric, symmetrical like this. And I, I'm telling you, when you cut your hair or when you get hair the way you want it, it just gives you a new look on life because I was hating my hair. You guys, I was this close. And I actually have an appointment that I need to cancel because I was going to go next week to get a, um, it, it's like, it's not a Brazilian and it's not a relaxer, but it's um, a process that you straighten the hair and it temporarily straightens the hair. It doesn't do it permanently. She has, I've, I've talked to other people who've had her do it and their hair did go back to their, to its natural hair once it washed out. So I'm just letting you know it wasn't gonna be a permanent, but I've just been, I've been so frustrated with my hair and just tired of it always looking a hot mess that I was ready to straighten it um, temporarily. So that has changed. With this haircut, I'm back to loving my hair and I, oh my goodness. And my hair grows so fast, you guys. When I tell you, it grows honestly a half an inch to an inch every single month. And so, It'll be like this hair right now. Look at how long it is. Can you guys see that? And it'll be down to my bra again in six months to a year. I, I got time. It's all good. I'm blessed. So we're going to keep it moving. So I just wanted to show you that, yes, I did get my hair cut again, but I love it. I'm not that person who needs to have long hair to feel secure about themselves. And for anybody who needs to have long hair, do your thing, boo. If you want to wear a weave or you want to wear wigs or whatever until you get that long hair because you can't achieve it or you do achieve it and you don't want to cut your hair, do your thing. But um, I'm good. I feel like I look good with short or long hair. And so it's just easy to rock the short hair in the summertime. So let's keep it moving. So the next question is, what am I currently using? Well, it's summertime. It's hot. It's humid. So we're pretty much doing washing wash and goes. I haven't really done any twist outs. I won't start doing twist outs again until probably late September, early October, because then the humidity here will go down. But it depends. If I'm going somewhere for work, if it's humid in that area, I'll keep doing wash and goes. So currently, I'm going to show you what I'm using. This right here is just a bottle I got from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And all that is in here is just pure jojoba oil mixed with a little bit of vitamin E oil. That's it. I put this on my hair, I put this on my skin. Like in the mornings when I get um, out of the shower or the bathtub or at night when I get done taking a shower or a bath, I put this on my skin and I squirt a little bit 
into my scalp and it's kind of massaging my scalp to just you know put oil onto my scalp because my skip my hair is very high porosity and so it gets dry very easily and it's always wanting moisture but my scalp gets dry also so for me I don't need to oil my scalp with anything else jojoba oil mixed with vitamin E oil is all I need um, in the winter time I'll switch probably to a, I'll probably add castor oil to this combination in the winter time that's what I normally do but for right now this is perfect. So this is all it is. Jojoba oil from, oh, I think this is from Bulk Apothecary, but it might be from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm not sure, but that's all it is. It's pure jojoba oil or shoot, it might be from Amazon. I don't remember, but it's from one of those three places. But again, it's just pure 100% jojoba oil, J-O-J-O-B-A oil, and a little bit of vitamin E oil, which is quite pricey. So then the next thing is after I shampoo, um, <laughs> after I shampoo, condition, deep condition, and get all that stuff done, we're ready for the, for the styling steps. I still stick to my tried and true because it works and it doesn't irritate my scalp. I use um, my Love Me and Leave My Love Me and Leave In Leave In Conditioner by Love Naturals. I swear by this stuff. I've always sworn by this stuff. It's worth every single penny. A little bit goes a long way, and it's just freaking amazing. And it smells great. It smells like lemons mixed with something. It's it's lemon verbena is what it is because I don't like verbena, but I don't have a choice because. This product is awesome and it doesn't stay with you. Um, once you put it on your hair, the smell goes away. But this stuff is freaking fabulous. But yeah, I absolutely love my Love Naturals Love Me and Leave In. It used to be called Love Me and Leave Me, I think. That's why I keep messing up. But now it's called Love Me and Leave In, Leave In Conditioner. And then my other Old Faithful is my Not Today. And the reason why this is full because I just merged it with another bottle. So you can look at it and see, look at that. Yeah, I need to clean that off and I will. But I still love my Not Today by Kiki Curly. These don't irritate my scalp, but my hair is very high porosity and my hair loves these two products, okay? So then um, also, after I apply my leave-ins, I go straight to my gel. Here's where it gets tricky. I just used the last of my Kinky Curly um, leave um gel so i don't have any to show you because i thought i had i always have things in twos but apparently i don't have that in twos so i need to order some more nope i don't see it down there i see lots of camille rose but that's for the winter time so i need to order some more of that um and i use i still love my key curly curling custard um these are staples whenever i have to have a perfect look this is what i use 100% my go-to if my hair has to be perfectly defined and I don't want it to move, I don't want it to frizz out, I want it to last, this is it, okay? But let me tell you, so for the past month and a half, I've been up in Minnesota working, two months, and I've been using this, okay? I've been using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie because it's available on the ground. And I've been using um, up there. That in here in Louisville, I can get the Kiki Curly at Whole Foods. Up there, it's not as easy. And I've been using the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle because I had a I had I bought this as a double pack. This works on my hair, you guys, but let me tell you this, because this is what I noticed. Um, and I still use it, but I'm, I'm I want to always be fair with you and give you all the all the details. So my hair loves the curl enhancing smoothie but with this gel i'm gonna tell you two things about this gel number one i even when your hair dries your hair is sticky i don't like that no matter what whether i let it air dry or whether i used a diffuser and dried my hair and i don't really use diffusers but i used it on this to see if there will be a difference when it's dry Every time I touch my hair, my hair is sticky. It never dried. I don't like that. I don't like, now my hair wasn't hard or crunchy um, and it stayed moisturized, but it was always sticky to the touch. And I just, I really didn't like that. And when it dried, cause product leaks, it is what it is. My hair is very high porosity. When I use the Kinky Curly or the Love Naturals gel, when it drips onto my clothes and stuff and my neck, it didn't leave a film. 
this left a sticky film on my neck where I would get like a washcloth and try to wash up with soap and water and it never it, it would not go away I would have to literally get in the shower to get it off my neck so I didn't like that about this and that um it dries sticky what I will also say is I do use this because it's easier and a, you can use a lot and not feel guilty because of the price because you know Shea Moisture is always on sale at Walgreens or CVS buy one get one half off so you don't feel bad about how much you're spending or how much you're using but this irritates my scalp what I don't know how to explain it but like when I use the Kitty Curly and I use the Love um, the, the Love Naturals I don't have problems with my scalp being sore like right now because I used this yesterday and today my scalp is fine I use this four days ago and my scalp up in here was tender like it, it hurt to touch I don't understand why but I have I have honestly I've done this more than once to test and see and whenever I use this um, it makes my scalp tender only up here in the top so I don't know if maybe it's getting sun exposure and the sun mixed with this product is causing me some problems. I'm honestly not sure, but um, it kind of makes me not want to use this anymore. And I have like two full jars of this. I'm probably going to give away to one of my cousins because I think that I'm, I either have an allergic reaction to it or um, something's not mixing with something on my hair. So it's, it's, coming, it's causing a bad reaction. But yeah, that's what I'm using. And I'm still using... The Shea Moisture um, Strength Grow and Restore Leave-In, but again, you guys, because of the smell, I don't use this consistently. This, my hair loves this, but I just, I can't deal with the smell. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I still use, um, for shampoo, I'm using, um, I use one of two things. I usually use either my Hydrothermic Naturals um, Moisturizing Shampoo, or I'll use my um, my favorite right now, which I've been using for over a year, is my Aveda Moisturizing Curl Shampoo. That stuff is freaking amazing. It smells like ginger. Um, it's in a cream bottle with blue, light blue, cream and light blue, and I love that stuff. But I don't want to really go in, because I just want to show you, I really wanted to focus today on just my styling products. Um, because again, you know, if I, if I was to go through the whole regimen, this could be like an hour and a half long video. So yeah, I just wanted to show you my stylers. So basically for my stylers, you guys, it, it's, it's still the same thing. Nothing has changed, which is why I really haven't done any videos, because nothing's changed. Um, I pretty much use the Love Naturals line. I use Hydrothermal Naturals for my intro stuff. I have a few stylers, but like for right now in the summertime, it's pretty much my Love Naturals and my Kinky Curly. They're tried and true, you guys. I mean, tried and true is going to always work. And I know it. I know how to use it. I know how much to use for my hair. I know how to rejuvenate it every morning to get the maximum um, effectiveness of the product and my money um, to rehydrate my hair in the morning and, and keep the style without losing the integrity of the style. So, yeah, and this hair right here, you guys, the hair right above my ears is just a different texture than the rest of my hair. This one over here, I, I had it tucked in and hidden. That's why you couldn't see it. But that hair is just a looser curl. You can see it's a looser curl, so it just it just hangs lower. It's the same length as the rest of my hair, but the curl pattern is so different and the texture is so different that it just hangs. So I always just kind of tuck it and hide it. And that piece just came undone, so that's what that was. But without um, any more, I'll just stop the video. But yeah, I love my hair. The cut just totally gave me a new look and a new outlook. I got a new attitude. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me stop. Let me behave myself and bring it back to y'all. But without with that, um, let me stop talking. You guys have an awesome sauce day. Enjoy this week that's coming up. I don't know when you're going to see this video because I don't know when I'm going to post it. But I just want you to know that I love you. I thank you for all your support. 